Hello everybody, how you are doing? Okay, uh, welcome to this my video tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at something amazing, awesome and cool. Uh, but before I start, I want to apologize. So far I've been working on a project, so I had to commit to it to make sure it's done. But I never forgot you guys, so I'm here. And to make it up to you, I'm actually creating this video, uh, just like a refresher. And then from this, I'm actually working on a playlist, which I believe is going to be impactful and really help us uh, when it comes to flutter development okay so uh, this one which we are going to be looking at today is called localization so it's one way uh, whereby we can actually target a broader audience in our applications okay so let's say you're building your app and uh, you are in the us but then your target audience is something like china uh, germany uh, portuguese so it would be very very nice you actually build your app in a way whereby portuguese a non-english speaking uh, individual can actually use your app understand everything go with the flow without knowing english so what we need to do in such scenario is to localize the application to that user specific language okay so for this to work we actually have to write our app so that all the tests will be dynamic to change instead of statically typing them in a widget you're going to understand this as we move on so as we all know flutter is a mobile framework right so it's used to build beautiful ui to kit and you're going to be seeing that uh i'm going to keep this app simple and minimal so we are go only going to be using this main dot that and so what we are going to be changing is one thing the the title of our app bar so we'll be changing the title of our app bar and we'll also be changing this stuff to our localized test so for this example, I'll be using two languages, uh, English, currently the app is on English and Portuguese. Okay, so we are going to be getting the, the Portuguese translation of this app. So we are going to be changing between two apps, but not to worry, if you have Germany, you can actually use the same method I'm going to show you in this video and it's going to work. All right, many words already. Okay, so, uh, so in summary, we're just going to learn how to change the app language based on the current language of the user's device. So whenever the user changes their device to Portuguese, our app language is going to change to Portuguese. If you change it to English, it's going to change to English. Awesome, right? So, uh, uh, we don't... Okay, so the first thing we need to do in such scenario... Uh, I think... Let me just give a brief summary of what localization is. Localization, according to Google, is a process of adapting Flutter apps to appeal to users with different locales and target markets. Okay, just as I said initially, we want to target an audience that is not speaking English. We are going to use localization to do that, okay? So, for localization to work, we need to add a package called Flutter Localizations into our postpage.tml file. So, uh, if we go to our postpage.tml file now, you will notice that I don't have any, uh, not any dependency. So, I only have Cupertino icons. So what I need to do in this case is to get the grab, I'll just grab the uh, Flutter localization SDK uh, dependency. So I'll go here and then click enter. So just backward a little bit and then you can add it here. So you can see it has the Flutter localization. Okay, I'm adding it inside dev dependency. So normally you can add it here, it's still going to work. But the way I do it is to add it inside dependency, okay, instead of dev dependency so we have the flutter localizations and the sdk localization so uh that's our first package and then the second package we are going to add is the int int dependency but and once you do that we need to add a generate flag in prospect.html file so we need to set it to true so adding that to adding that to our prospect.html file to help to automatically generate the code that will be needed for app localization dot that you're going to see that file later so uh, what we need to do is to go down to our dependency okay right here you will see flutter yeah you can see flutter here so right here we're going to create a flag and this is going to be generate okay you only use this for localization to generate files for us for the localization so you say generate true okay set it to true so once you do that the next thing we're going to do now is to actually uh, generate our folders so uh, in our project directory, uh, which is this localization app, so we're going to create a new file called l10n.yaml file. And so what I'm going to do, I'll just go to my root directory here and I'll create the file. So it will be, uh, I think, l1, okay, 0. This is actually 0, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
yeah zero okay and dot yamo five so if you look here if you notice now we have two yamo five actually three these are these two analysis options for linter for linting and we have the <coughs> l 10 nhtml file okay so what we need to do now is to actually create the necessary files uh, folders that's actually going to handle all our stuff okay so i'm just going to do this quickly uh, i think i'll just pause and then add it okay okay so uh, i think this file will look uh, for now i know you'll be wondering what the above uh, this this code does uh so you're not alone i think i uh, this the first time i tried uh, implementing this localization I actually I felt the same way because I don't know what it does. So what I did was to go through the documentation again and I was able to understand it. So uh, you don't have to worry. I'm going to explain them in details now. So we have the first one, which is ARB hyphen directory. So it's actually referencing the lib slash L105. So what is this file is actually where the input files of our localization are being stored. You're going to see them in details later. All right. Then the next one is the template ARB file. So this one, it provides the file template for configuring our language. You can see we have app en, which is for English.arb. So that's where we're going to configure all our, our language for English. Okay. Then later, we're going to create another one that we configure the language for Portuguese. All right. Then the final one, which is output localization file. Remember, I told you about this app.localization. So this one. Will what this one does is that it's a file. This is a is an is a very important file. Okay, so in Flutter localization, it is where the generated localization are placed uh, with the help of the generate flag, which we added inside prospect.tml file. Okay. So now I think now I've uh, been able to explain this briefly, and we all know what it, uh, each of these file uh, stands for and what they do. Okay, so now the next thing now we need to do is to what I'm going to do now is to create a file which is this lib. I'm going to create this uh, l10n file inside our lib folder. So it's going to be like a so I'm going to copy the file, uh, go to our lib folder, it's going to be like a folder. Okay, so inside this folder, I'm going to create two files, and one is going to be the app en underscore en for English. And the other one, app underscore pt. So pt, this en stands for, it's like the locale for English, the like US, okay? Then pt is the locale for Portuguese. So if you have another language, it's like German, it has its own, I think it's es, yeah, the locale. So each, uh, each language, each country has their own locale, okay? So what we're going to do now is to create a new file. So I'll call this one app underscore en dot arb okay then i'll create a second one and this one is going to be app so underscore pt okay dot arb so this is where i'm going to put the localized message for that is translated message for portuguese okay all right so that being done now uh, the next thing i'm going to do is to create uh, for now remember this is our app the main dot that and what I want to change here now is the title. So for now, I think I, I know I'm not running this app for now. So I'm just going to change this title to hello. Okay, for now. So this title now we're going to localize it. Okay, and also this test, you have pushed the button this many times. You're also going to localize it to the respective languages. Okay, so I'm going to go to English. So the first thing I want to do, because this localizing localized message is actually stored in form of map. Uh, so what I'm do, what I'm going to do now, I'm I'm going to create a title. Uh, but the first rule, uh, let me give you a hint first. The rules you need to actually note in this stuff is that always use a uh, double string quote when creating a string inside this file, this configuration file. And the last message in the map uh, should not have a comma. Okay, you're going to see that later. So only use comma if you want to add another text to the next line. Yeah. So once you are done adding any string, try to run pop.get to actually make sure that everything is running. So I think I'm having some errors here. I think that's because my internet connection is not properly connected. So I think I'll just have to connect it real quick. All right, so what I'm going to do now is to create the title, which is the, which is the app bar title. And I will call this one localization. 
localization app this should be in the app bar all right so assuming we have only this test i don't have to put comma here all right so i'll just leave it this way but if i put comma there will be some error when i try to run it so i'll leave it this way since it's only this one but, but in our case we want to add more than one string so i want to add you have pushed this button this many times so which is uh what am i going to use to name it now i think i'll use something like uh okay number pushed okay let me just say number pushed yeah something like that and then use your double string and then paste it here like so don't put comma if not you break stuff okay so now we are going to add a translated version into so just copy this stuff again because we have two string like i see the value is title on this this the key is title the key is title is number pushed and the value are different okay this is the translation for english so what we need to do now for portuguese is just to copy the file put it inside here so we don't need to change this title again it must be the same if you're adding another one again make sure it's also the same in english okay so what i'm going to do now is to copy this localization app and i will go over to my translator so i think i have a translator here so let me just translate it real quick and i will come back to it so i got the localization for it so this is it applicativo okay all right so that's the translation for english yeah this is the portuguese translation for that localization app so i will do the same thing for this uh, number pushed as well so just go to my translator and uh yeah so once you grab that don't worry i'm going to put a link to this you can use any translation actually so there's no need to put a link so anyone who works so this is translated version for portuguese so if you have other languages you want to translate to like german or whatever you can still add it here as well okay all right so that's it for the two localization and now the next thing we are going to do is just to move on a little bit so uh what we need to do now is to run our application so i'm just going to give this a little time for it to run and then we can see uh it's going to create it's going to generate a file for us okay so right now it's launching so once it's done launching it's going to create uh, a folder for us which is inside this dot that underscore two and we should see something like uh, flutter gen I think yeah inside flutter gen we should see uh, gen one which is this link this one and if you look here you can see app underscore localization underscore english dot that so if you click on it you're going to see the two localized string which you created they are all getters localization app and you also have a number push so if we create other another string again inside here uh, make sure you actually add it here and also add it inside your translated version and then run pop get so now if you look inside here you can see it has the two test localization app and they are looking the same as the one we have here if you look inside our portuguese translation you can see it has the link the test and it's still looking the same as the one we have here right also so looking at our app localization dot that so this is a lot this is an important file which i told you about so this was generated by the help of the generate flag that we have here okay yeah so that's it and uh yeah you can see some methods some things we need to follow to actually set this stuff up so the first thing you want to do is to import this file and once you import this file and we are going to add the localization delegate also add the supported supported local and then from there we can now use it inside our application right awesome so moving on and uh let's just wait for this app to run and uh yeah let's give it some time and now we have it so you just have this hello which is a title so uh yeah i think i just have to close this stuff okay so i also have to close this prospect HTML file and the generated file you can see the app localization which is this one here yeah the most important stuff are okay so i'm going to close it as well and uh we'll go to our main dot that so this is where i'll be doing all the magic because i don't want to separate these files but you can actually separate it and if you have a large app so you can create your own localized test as many as you want all of them inside this particular file yeah yeah just try as much as you can to separate them okay so you can see our app built without any error so that's 
that's a good one so we're actually making progress so uh the next thing i'm going to do now is to localize the app itself so the first thing i want to do uh is to import uh import the uh flutter gen uh which is if you go through this if you go here now you see they say that we need to import the stuff right so uh what i'm just going to do is to go to my import statement here so this side i'm going to import this okay target url does not exist all right so what are we doing wrong i think we have package flutter gen gen i1 okay okay why is doing that let's see if we can actually uh set the localization delegates for this okay localization delegates i can have something like app localization I know I can't really import it from here. Okay, I think there's an issue here. And, uh, whoop, error, error somewhere. So I think I'll just have to comment this and then run pop get to see if it's going to fix this error. So. I don't know i didn't experience this stuff while i was uh, playing around with localization so let's see if pop gets will be able to fix that for us okay great S same error right uh okay i think it fixes it yeah all right so on using port so uh pop gets fixed that so what we're going to do now is to actually import the uh, localization delegates so i'm just going to go do this dot localization delegates and then the next thing i'm going to do is to do a uh, supported to import uh yeah set the supported local as well so it's going to use the local this supported local what is going to do is just to use the local that we already set okay yeah localizations dot supported local so it's going to use the locale that we already set which is the english and the portuguese version and yeah that's the, the only thing it's going to use so we don't really have to stress ourselves over for anything all right so uh once that is done let's just run do a hot restart here okay so and the next so now what we need to do now is to use the localization anywhere in our application so now we are going to add the title of our app bar uh, using the translated message we defined in the .arb files and so in our app bar we are going to do something like this i think this one is useless for now just have to remove it and uh yeah this one too is useless we don't need you and we're also going to remove this title that is specified here and this one as well so we take it off all right so um uh, yeah to set the title now to be our localization stuff which is set inside english localization app i'm going to go over to main dot that and right here remember we already whenever you want to use this stuff make sure you import this uh, stuff to give us access to localization uh, so you cannot uh, import it in the fly so you have to put it manually all right so to use this stuff you're going to use the app localization because that's where everything is happening remember it is an important file so we're going to say app localization dot okay of context they will be able to assess those values okay so here you can see we have the title the number pushed so if we say title and uh, yep if we say title now if i save it watch our app it's going to change to the title inside all right so nothing happened and uh, yep nothing happened let's do a hot restart to see are we missing something? Okay, cool. Localization app. So you can see our English localization app. So I had to restart that stuff to get everything running. So now the next thing, let's change this stuff. So, but before we change it, let me do, let me just modify it a little bit so that we can see that it's actually working. All right, you have. So let's change it now to our app localization dot number pushed okay so i'm going to do this 
uh, it shouldn't be a constant all right and then save it normally it's not supposed to be title so it's going to be number pushed all right all right that's it so let's see if this stuff is going to convert to portuguese so what i'm going to do now is to go to my phone i think i have a language somewhere so i'm just going to change the language all right so i'm looking for my language uh, if you found it please let me know so how do you tell me if you find it <laughs> how will you tell me all right so uh let's see if i have okay i just have to search for this language so i'll see language and inputs okay click on it and you should see languages so i have portuguese here i have french i think i don't have um, germany or any other language so since we are using english and portuguese i'm going to change portuguese to be my default app and you can see it has changed in all my app all right so i'll go back to my app now and you see that the test is going to change to the localized app you can see applicate applicativo yeah that's it you can see applicativo dot localization <laughs> and we have the number pushed to this test so you don't really have to change anything just use it this way within your app and whenever the user changes their language their default language the app will change automatically so that's it and it works very well yeah so if we go back now and change it back to english you should see that it's going to change back to english as well so let me just change my language and uh yeah let me go back to our app and open it you can see it has changed back to english awesome amazing amazing one but if you notice now we can see we have this app localization though this is too long to be adding it everywhere now yeah it's too long so uh what i normally do is to create since we are in the build method since we are in a particular class i i know it's not really proper to do something inside build method but for the sake of this we just have to have the uh the message yeah something like this and you can call app localization localizations dot of context okay so i'm doing it inside build method because we have access to the context right awesome so uh this is actually app localization right so we are just going to change this stuff from final to app localization like so okay then inside here now instead of uh, uh, calling this app localization directly what we just have to do is to call the message dot title yeah and that will fix it for us okay and then the same thing we are going to do here as well instead of this we are just going to call the message dot number push so this is this is your simple and easier for us to actually call so if you save it now it's still going to work perfectly fine no issues and if we go back to our application now and change it to portuguese we are still going to get the same um, message you can see it has been changed awesome so now i want to do something uh let's say we want to change the test okay let me go back to english now uh, let's say now we want to change the test of our app bar so i don't want it to be localization app so i want to have something different so what i'm just going to do is to say okay let me just create another title too okay let me give it a name and i'll call this one title underscore two so okay you can see i actually use comma to terminate this this line and then the last one and i didn't put any comma so we have full full title two and I will do the same thing now for my Portuguese, okay, so because we still need to have the same translation, okay. And once you do that, I'm going to uh, try to uh, change, get the Portuguese translation of this stuff and then replace it in there. Awesome. So once you do that, don't forget to run, because if you go to our app localization, if you go to our app localization pitch, you only have title and number pushed. So to get this uh, stuff that we just added to be registered, and what we need to do is to actually uh, run popget, okay? So popget will handle that and then create the missing the missing translation for us. So just watch how this stuff will increment now. All right, maybe because we are looking at it, that's why it didn't change. But let's look at the English one. You can see actually increase. I think that's what, because we were looking at it, that was, that was why it didn't change. <laughs> yeah, so... 
and i just close it and open it you can see the title two showing here so let's go to our main dot that now so i want to change this title instead of having this localization app i want to change it to the title two which we just created okay dot okay so something is missing uh, let's run pop get again i think you should be able to since it's already registered so we should be able to make use of it yeah since it's already here we should be able to make use of it so let me go back to my main dot that and right here i'm going to call it again dot title two Okay, for some reason, this stuff is not giving me the hint. Okay, so I want to believe that stuff is... Nope, I think we are having some errors here somewhere. Uh, title 2 is here already, so we shouldn't be having that error. I think it should be gone by now. Let's see. Yep, it's gone. So we can say dot title two. Awesome. So pop get will be able to fix that. So if you save it now, I don't think save will work, but let's see. Yeah, full application. So let's change it back to Portuguese to see if you are going to get the translated version. Okay, go back to our app. Applicativo completo. Yep. That was it. Awesome, guys. Uh, you can see how easy it was to create a localization test. So if you want to create, you want to add more languages, you have to create for German. Let's say you are doing for German app underscore. German should be ES. Yeah? I don't know, but you just have to check the local. The, the local. And once you get that, you also need to copy and paste this stuff inside here. And then you get the translation of each of these values for Germany. Okay, so that's just how it works. Uh, very easy and very simple so i'm going to push this code i'm going to delete this now okay so don't worry this code is going to be available on github and uh it's going to be available also on the, in the description below so you guys can check it out and try to play around with it and uh, yeah see how it works so it's very simple straightforward there's no big deal i think the only big deal is more like translating those versions and then using it dynamically inside your application but so far it's all good i also wrote an article on, on this uh, if you're the kind of person that loves reading articles so i'm going to drop the link in the description below as well for you guys to see and use uh so far so good it's been an amazing journey and i actually appreciate your time uh do where to subscribe share to anyone you know uh, if you have any issues put it down in the comment section below and i'll do my best to get back to it uh till then till next time uh do good uh be kind and don't stop building stuff i'll see you in the next